डिग्रीज ऑफ फ्रीडम पॉसिबल नंबर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट मोशन अवेलेबल फॉर ए सिस्टम इज कॉल्ड डिग्रीज ऑफ फ्रीडम ऑफ दैट सिस्टम एन अनकंस्टेंड रिजिड बॉडी इन स्पेस कैन हैव सिक्स इंडिपेंडेंट मोशन एंड देर फोर इट हैज सिक्स डिग्रीज ऑफ फ्रीडम एन अनकंस्टेंट दैट मीन्स नो रेस्ट्रिक्शन इज गिवन दैट टाइप ऑफ रिजिड बॉडी इज कॉल्ड अनकंस्टेंट रिजिड बॉडी here i have taken one example this is a cubical block now this cubical block is kept in a 3d space now it can it can have six independent motion what are these six independent motions three motions along x direction y direction and z direction now here i have drawn arrow only towards positive directions it can have motion in negative direction also so all this is taken as one and similarly it can have rotational motion with respect to x axis with respect to z axis and with respect to y axis so there are six possible motions for this block and therefore it has Six degrees of freedom. When two links are connected to form a pair, some constraints to the free motion are imposed, and therefore number of degrees of freedom get reduced. Here, this is a sphere. Now, if I ask you what are the how many degrees of freedom it have, then you can say that it has six degrees of freedom because it is kept in 3D space, so it can have all possible motions. But once i keep a rectangular plate here and make contact bit between these two and now if i fix this rectangular plate now suppose i have fixed this rectangular plate now what are the motion possible now all motions are not possible let's check how many motions are possible here first it can slide or it can roll along the direction of plate so this direction that is you can say this direction as x direction so one motion is possible one linear motion is possible along the direction of this plate but you can see this direction that is z direction and y direction no motion motions are possible because if you try to move this sphere along this y direction then it will come out of the plate and contact will miss so there will be no contact between this sphere and this rectangular plate so this sphere will come out of the plate and therefore this motion is not possible that means this linear motion along y direction is not possible similarly along z direction also no motion is possible either if you move this uh, this sphere in up, upward direction then contact between these two will miss but and if you try to move it uh, downward direction you need to penetrate this uh, rigid body which is not possible and therefore motion along this direction that direction is also not possible now check whether it can be rotated along x y and z direction now it can be rotated along x direction it can be rolled it can be rotated without missing any contact between these two it can slide it can uh, slide here similarly you can rotate along y direction also along y direction you can rotate like this also and along z direction also you can rotate you can rotate along z direction also so only restrictions you have provided here are movement along y direction linear movement along y direction and linear movement al movement along z direction so number of restrictions provided is 2 and therefore number of degrees of freedom will be 6 minus 2 that is 4 so in this particular case that is in this pair number of degrees of freedom will be 4 another example i have taken here this cubical uh, uh, box is uh, provided with a rectangular slot uh, uh, rectangular hole is there now in this rectangular hole i have provide uh, i have kept one prismatic bar one rectangular bar one rectangular prismatic bar is uh, kept here if i fix this block if i fix this cubical block then how many motions possible with this rectangular uh, prismatic bar you can check you can see that uh, no rotation along x only only possible motion is motion along this x direction only in this direction or this direction you can move this prismatic bar you cannot rotate because of this shape you cannot rotate along x direction you cannot rotate Uh, about z direction you cannot rotate about y direction because this particular this big block is fixed so therefore only one possible motion that is linear motion 
similarly no linear motion possible in upward direction and low, no linear motion possible along y direction so number of restrictions provided here are five and therefore number of degrees of freedom for particular in this particular pair is only one that is six minus five only one here i have taken some examples from the book of ss ratan theory of machine by ss ratan now you can go through with all these examples and uh, try to check all these motions for example this is the first case which i have explained and similarly this is the last one which i explained please note some possible direction of motion shown in figures are incorrect you should try to find those errors now remember that that a kinematic chain should have constrained motion and therefore its degree of freedom must be 1